for the very last time, uh, my name is Matt Abbott. Welcome to this week's Insta session. Um, usually what I do is uh, fiddle my hair awkwardly because I'm vain and it's ridiculous and getting too long and I need to cut again. Um, <clears throat> but usually what I do is read out a poem just for like a minute or a minute and a half whilst people join. Uh, but what I'm going to do instead is just take a quick moment to say a huge thank you to all of the poets who have very generously given up their time over the last 14 months to do an Insta session because... Uh, Came up with the idea uh, during lockdown one, started them at the beginning of May last year, genuinely thought we'd do like six or seven, and here we are with number 50, 14 months later. So just want to give a very quick thank you to Nafisa Hamid, the repeat beat poet, Iona Lee, Stephen Lightbound, Kamel Mahmood, Emily Harrison, Siley Katebi, Jevi Carver, Casey Bailey, Camille McCauley, Victoria McNulty, Mary Dickens, Sharina Lee Satie, Joshua Idahan, Jasmine Gardosi, Louise Fazakali, Madeleine Kinsella, Carla Meller, Rick Dove, Rewa Saab, Gabriella Carmo, Chris Redmond, Elise Hadgraft, Antonia J. King, Hannah Hodgson, Ella Dorman Gajic, Nabila Ahmed, James McDermott, Luke Wright, Maria Ferguson, Iftikar Latif, Rashika Wick, Harris Ahmed, Sophie Sparham, Jamie Frazivulu, Toby Abiodun, Leila Jane King, Mariam Saeed Khan, Charlotte Lunn, Penny Pepper, Liam Xavier, Kat Hepburn, Patricia Longhetano, Otis Mensa, Roy, Joe Williams, Romina Ramos, Rory Aaron, Mohammed Musa, and tonight... We have uh, Jonathan Kinsman. So, uh, Jonathan is a trans poet from Manchester, uh, raised Church of England and with a background in theological study. He lives his life marrying his spirituality and their sexuality. As well as being founding editor of Rigwell to Press and associate editor of Three Drops from a Cauldron, he's also a BBC Edinburgh Fringe Slam finalist. He received a distinction for his MA in creative writing at the University of Sheffield. His debut pamphlet and or ampersand, uh, was joint winner of Indigo Dreams Pamphlet Prize 2017. And his second, Witness, was published by Burning Eye in 2020. So, uh, I am very excited to invite Jonathan Kinsman. Here we go. Some of his lovely words. Here we go. Just let the internet catch up. Hello. Hello. I am How are so you doing? as if I do this, so I guess... Just a moment while I try and angle this appropriately. <laughs> no worries, no worries. You all right? Yeah, uh, I'm. It's on top of my bed because uh, I don't have a desk. <laughs> Fair enough. You That's all good. That in the background as well. <laughs> I can see you. I can see you. I can hear you. It's all good. Oh, awesome! How are you? Oh, good. Thanks. Uh, a bit, a bit surreal, but it's the last one. But uh, it's exciting. Thank you so much for joining us. How well, are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's, a, it's a it's a different question nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a different yeah. question. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, that um, that Bill Bailey bit. Fine, all things considered. <laughs> <laughs> all things. <yeah. laughs> all things um, considered. Yeah. I've been wondering your debut pamphlet. Would you say and or would you say ampersand? Ampersand. <laughs> ampersand. I, right. I, I thought so. It's my, yeah, my Wakefield mind's like, it's called and. Obviously, it's ampersand. That's great. Well, and then you published uh, Witness in uh, with Burning Eye last year. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. So um, that, that was really exciting. I was, like, so, like, blown away that any press at all wanted my weird niche little, little poems about that. Because genuinely, I started writing them... Um, because it's a, it's a sequence where I rewrite the apostles as modern people and was like, no one is going to want this. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, there you go. Yeah, but like, it's always really cool when a really niche project gets picked up and you're like... Yeah, Validate and by Bernie and I as well, to be fair, like... <laughs> Thank you. Like Bernie and I, you know, you can't, you can't get much better indie, indie presses, really. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, working with Burning Eye is like really incredible. They're they're such lovely people, um, especially Bridget. Um, yeah, just working with them was absolutely fantastic. I was there like, ah, is this really <laughs> happening? <laughs> so was that? Um, so yeah, uh, was this a pamphlet or a collection? Forgive me, I've I've seen the book and I've seen some of the poems, but I wasn't sure if it was a pamphlet or collection. Uh, Witness. It's a it's a pamphlet it's just 14 poems yeah. so i turned 12 apostles into 14 poems nice Maths. nice like strong suit 
uh yeah no because i put an extra one in for mary magdalene and uh, there is actually a 13th apostle if you if you get past the gospels and carry on going to acts they actually elect a replacement for uh um, right. judas uh called matthias and uh, somebody somebody in one of one of the reviews called him the injury time substitution <laughs> i just <laughs> love that fair play Oh, it's on Twitter every day, and I wouldn't explain it in football terms. So there you go. It, you maybe you started that inadvertently. Um, um, yeah, I've been watching the football. I don't normally watch football, and it's just like wow. <laughs> I don't. It's not know normally. What's good. <laughs> yeah, usually it's a lot more depressing. Um, well, would you be happy to share a poem? Get uh, started yeah. with a poem. I would love cool. to. So um, th- this is the book. My sister drew the cover for this. She's uh, nice. off doing illustration at uni, so like every time somebody's like, I like the cover, I'm like, my sister drew it. <laughs> uh, oh, she's also on Instagram. Um, I, will, I will share a link to her profile later. Because um, uh, I'm full of trans rage, let's do Jude. Um, cool. Here we go. So when I wrote this, I, I started each poem with a bible verse so people knew i knew what i was talking about and not just like i mean it is bible fan fiction but it's like well researched (laughs) bible fan fiction (laughs) so uh this is from psalm 72 verse 14 he will rescue them from oppression and violence for precious is their blood in his sight and here's the god hates fags brigade bumping against you hoping to topple you hands grazed against the concrete bring you down low and humble fad they're smirking fad my lad what are you doing running around dressed like that all pink and florals floating sleeves and draping skirts jude you see through clenched teeth while they remind you how burning tarmac reeks, how falling bricks send up clouds of dust, how cities crumble because you kiss boys, because you rouge your cheeks when you're feeling brave enough. Their hands curl into fists, laughter threaded in their throats because their wrath is not the deadliest of sins it's your rainbow painted fingernails ain't jesus ever teach you that you're screeching take his name out of your filthy mouths your blood on the pavement when they scatter when blurred arms bear you down to the river to wash the stains from your skin healing crackling over broken cheekbone Swollen eye, split lip. Sister, I am with you. He's never once called you Thaddeus. Seen your naked body, seen the woman with her flat chest, the limp flesh between her legs, seen perfection. He presses a tender kiss against your forehead. Sister, there's no such thing as lost causes. Wow, what a note, what a, what a start. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, yeah, so atmospheric. And like, so so many images in there and so many, yeah, just brilliant. Love that. Oh, thank you. Um, so how long had you been working on that project then when you pitched it to Ben and I? Uh, ooh, on and off for a couple of years at that point, because I sort of wrote one um back back when the brexit was still just a possibility and not like a, oh we're doing this God. Um, <laughs> uh, i wrote i wrote simon peter which was about about brexit um and yeah. i thought oh this is a weird one-off and then i wrote a second one and then like i was like oh this is this is a project <laughs> oh no yeah. i'm writing a concept album yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's really cool. That I love that. I love, I love the the idea of it. And uh, you know, as a poet, you know, using things like that as a prompt and as a framework, it's so exciting. Isn't it when you get into that. No, I, I love it. I love that poem. It's great. Thank you. Um. So you've you've sort of written one, and then you've written another, and then you've got to the point where you've pitched it with Burning Eye, and now it's a book in the world, which is just amazing. Um, so are you taking time to just sort of enjoy that and share it out in the world? Have you got your eye on another project? Are you, Um, not that I'm putting pressure, I'm curious, like, you know. (laughs) Well, it was kind of a weird time to release a book was, uh, 
at the start of a pandemic I was like oh oh okay <laughs> I'm doing none of the gigs and I had planned to turn it into a show and I had a slot to take it to the free fringe and uh, oh really yeah it was going to be my my uh, my fringe debut, my solo show debut, and uh, just right. didn't happen. So uh, yeah. we'll put that on a back burner and think about the fringe 2022, I guess, yeah. for that. Because I, I think it it should be it should be a show as well, realistically. Yeah, it's, it's designed to be performed as well as read. But I, I am also working on a debut full length collection. Um, because cool. I, I sort cool. of fall down the sofa cushions of genre between page and stage. So I... I... <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. Well, no, it's, it's something that I always talk about. I'm always curious about. I know that you're a BBC Edinburgh Fringe Slam finalist. So I wondered if, if it was like, okay, this is your show, but it's also a pamphlet, or if it's a pamphlet that could be a show. And which, which, one, which one sort of crystallised in your head first, do you think? For me, they've always gone hand in hand in a really in a really weird way. Um, so, yeah. I, I literally blame it on uh, I don't know if you attended an event back when you were at school uh, called Poetry Live, where they got <laughs> no. po uh, so they got poets from the GCSE anthology at the time, as many of them as they could, um, to come and perform their poems from the anthology to loads of kids that went to state schools. So we went and saw it at the Bridgewater Hall in, Man oh. in Manchester. There were right, like yeah. a thousand of us kids packed in there and Caroline Duffy is sniffling her way through her poems. But I literally wrote my first poem on the way home from that event. And when right. I think about it in retrospect, it really explains my approach to poetry because yeah. I heard the vast majority of them being page poets performing their work out loud, which is yeah. not something that they typically do in that style. Um, so I think I think I've kind of internalised that that it should it should work on both, unless you're doing something like yeah. incredibly experimental in one way that can't work in another. Like I've written a poem years back that was in HTML code, and I literally can't perform it. <laughs> Like it doesn't work <laughs> unless you want to hear some hex codes for a bit. Um, <laughs> like yeah, back to my yeah. space days. <laughs> yeah, so unless you're doing something like that, I I believe it should it should do both. And yeah, like it it it's like half half the half the job for me. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Totally agree. Well, I'd love to hear more poetry if you'd be up for it. Um. Yeah. Yeah, um, want to hear something that I'm I've been working on at the moment? Um, yes, that would be brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, more kind of experimental because I do a lot of stuff that's quite narrative driven, like like witness. But then I also do some really weird stuff. Uh, this is called uh, some possible genders. Ball boy. Mm. Girl guide. Motherfucker, Rat King, Her Majesty, MC, Lady Killer, Ex-Lover, Godfather, Grave Cleric, Cock Jockey, Cruel Mistress, Bootlicker, Jobsworth, Test Tube Baby, Yummy Mummy, Yuppie Scum, Anti-Vaxxer, Trophy Wife, Here for a Good Time, Not a Long Time, Do You Have a Light Skin Tight, Overalls Commando, Payload, Ass Phone Homonym, I Have Work Tomorrow, Cheat Code, Phone It In, Nosebleed, Neoliberal, Ex-Catholic, Leaking Pipe, Frankie Says Relax, Lie back and think of England. Bonus track, urban myth, past due, prosecco flavor, panic attack, panopticon, curb stomp, deck chair, semaphore, high biz, give them an inch, kettling. Do you hear the people sing? If the glove fits, sign out, check in. If then, system flag, may have had sex with a man who may have had sex with a man. Hypodermic, intravenous, transubstantiation, scientific method, wisdom teeth, bathroom store, Eurovision, cosmic latte. Say, can I take your order, please? Alcoholic, <laughs> VIP, wall to wall, on the boil, hands up. I don't want to fight tonight. Baby, it's cold outside. Pyromaniac, poor circulation, two kids in a trench coat, piggyback, you spin me right round, afternoon tea, breech birth, I do believe in fairies, don't call me brave. 
feeling <laughs> lucky fire drill power tools oversight union rep out of print back in my day what can i say how much love lick it up i'm not bad i'm just drawn this way ekphrastic biblically accurate perfume advert programming error niche reference corporate espionage no fly list do not resuscitate education 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 section 28 cursive five gcses a star to see your name here day release thought police digitating medication temporal paradox pun punch up meat suit messiah mop and bucket salt on the rim strangler thick depth charges my profit on it supermarket own brand sugar coated swingers party suburban monstrosity fix it up it it gets better unsolved equation fermat's last theorem point on the diagram scatter graph ordnance survey map outlier who should not have been counted unexplained phenomena gaping more astronaut brilliant brief being bloody hell <laughs> wow <laughs> that was something else that was really incredible uh, got some great comments in there as well, like flame emojis and whatever. God, wow! So that's something you're working on at the moment. Like that's quite new. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um. Wow. I've been, wor I've been working on one project with two other writers, which I'm not allowed to talk about yet. So oh. uh, we'll just um. We yeah. So collaborative work forthcoming oh. um and then as i said i've been working on my full-length collection which is a lot more focused on me personally and then naturally a lot of that has to do with coming out as trans and yeah <laughs> um yeah well look i mean that was just phenomenal like i'm so privileged that you shared that with me thank you very much and like if you could do that at just every poetry event once things start reopening just before anyone else does anything and i'll just blow the cobwebs right off and fucking yeah cool um, wow thank you god i'm so lucky to do these insta sessions like uh, that that's just yeah um so so your new collection is writing about coming out as trans um so is this something that you've just been waiting for the right moment to be able to articulate or because i can imagine that must be quite a difficult thing to put down into poetry um, it, it's been kind of a process because honestly, gender is a process and ide yeah. identity is a, a, a thing. So, I mean, the, na the narrative of, oh, I always knew is really useful for a lot of people and I don't want to knock those, but that's also very much not my experience. It was kind right. of like, a, oh my God, I'm a human that exists. Help. <laughs> no, you hear you. Uh, kind of situation um but uh yeah so it, it's been kind of like a, a process and there's a lot of stuff that i wrote before i knew right i was like well this is weird and now i've come back to it i'm like oh oh a trans oh how <laughs> oh, i see <laughs> um <laughs> Well, so like your subconscious was sort of figuring it out before you had sort of acknowledged wow that must be fascinating like i mean yeah i mean it's kind of like in a way it's kind of like um the there's this concept called queer temporality which is the idea that um when you are queer time kind of works differently than it does for heterosexual people and i i think that's especially true if you're if you're trans in the right the 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 like the the kind of itinerary that you're given number one yeah, of course. isn't gonna work out ever <laughs> no. get married and have kids <laughs> um and then yeah and then, yeah and then but like, because it very much to me at the moment feels like I'm doing what everybody else was doing when they were like 18, 19. Right. But I'm just yeah. doing it at 27. Yeah. And then, which is like, in a way, like a huge privilege because I get to do it again with actual like non teenager brain. <laughs> um, <laughs> so much cringe can be, can be done away with. It's beautiful. Um, but in another way, it's really, really sad because it feels like I'm like catching up with everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I mean, it just, you know, it, it sounds fascinating and I'm, I'm sure it's, you know, exciting and difficult in equal measures, but it, it needs to be in a collection that the world needs to read, you know, just to get more understanding, more of an insight, just to have that narrative out there. Like, I think it's really important. So I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> yeah um i'm i mean i'm yeah i'm really excited about it i have just so much writing that i've been doing over the pandemic um oh i hate okay. i hate the fact that when people are like oh those people that have been really productive during lockdown and i'm like it's me i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone reacts differently, you know. If you've been really productive, I think that's wonderful, you know. Some people have been under a cloud. Some people have changed, you know, whatever. We have to deal with it how you want to deal with it. I think it's great that you've written loads. I love that. Yeah. It's good. You know, people just write when they're ready to write, won't they? So, um, well, I would very much love you to share another poem if you're up for it. Yeah. Um. I mean, my my kind of, like, actual, like, you need to sell books brain is like do more from witness and i'm like ah i'm those are old hat let's do more new stuff because i've not got to read poems in like forever um, yeah so uh let's do Let's do this one. So this one, um i uh <laughs> i wrote this the day before my edinburgh fringe slam heat and then was like fuck it i'm doing it and then i won my heat and i was like really <laughs> baffled and confused but <laughs> uh so this is called a brief history of falling in the 20th century 1923 buster keaton barrel rolls down a flight of stairs into 1900 harry houdini has already already taught him if you are good at something never do it for free so he makes a career from impacts from broken backs and the audience gasps first laughs second pre-cgi he is special effects and the trick is this smile even as the window pane whizzes past your fingers and they bring the house down around you 1947, Evelyn McHale swan dives from the Empire State Building, a perfect 10 as a car roof cradles her like a feather bed, like a doll in tissue paper, shoes sold separately. You wouldn't believe the photographs of Candid and us voyeurs looking down into her coffin. She wanted to be forgotten. And yet the camera clicks, preserves, pickles her sorrow, and they say, how could anyone forget this beauty? 1969, Giuseppe Pinelli is the famous anarchist. That one, don't you know, Mr. Faux, caught in the act of the accident, come a cropper from the precinct, fourth floor window, an open and shut case. Italy points its finger left, cries blood on your hands, and Captain Calabrese swears he never grasped him by the collar, never spat at the innocent man. If this is what you stand for, then let's see what you'll fall for. 1971, mm. Juliana Kirpke in The Girl Who Fell to Earth, right over the Amazon in a thunderstorm as the plane broke apart and the sky filled with suitcases, sunglasses, flip-flops, her mother ascending from her seat raptured while she went down hit the canopy like a goddamn creation story like a comet got back up from the crater and walked 10 long days before she was found 1993 gary hoy wins a darwin award for his last performance a trust game a trick of faith played with a pane of glass you know this one Lawyer runs into a window, says, unbreakable. Lawyer gives the window everything he's got and the frame pops. The man drops too surprised to scream. You don't walk off 23 floors. But we see the sentry out with a dumb joke, with irony, with a falling man like a postmodern prophecy because 2021, all of us are still descending. Humanity at terminal velocity. But there's a bottom right. There's a point we'll reach where there's nowhere further to fall. Nice, nice. I keep thinking we've reached the point where there's nowhere further to fall. 
And then and then I look up and we're nowhere near that point. How are we outdoing ourselves every year, falling for? I have no idea. But that was that was fantastic. Thank you. Um, Did you say is that's the one that you wrote for the Edinburgh Fringe Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I mean, I, I have a a, a tumultuous relationship with slams because um, <laughs> I've had people approach me after I've done a slam and been like oh, you're not really a slam poet, are you? And I've been like, I don't, what are you, are you complimenting me? Are you insulting? What? <laughs> um, and I mean. Then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then uh, other slams, I've got, I've gone down a storm, uh, like I did yeah. at that time. But so like, because I'm, I'm really rubbish at working out what is, good, which of my poems are going to work in a slam context. Right. Um, I'm like, fuck it, let's write a new one and let's do the new one. Fair play. Yeah, um, why not? Why not? You're not a slam poet. Like, what is... Yeah, if you're in a slam and you're a poet, you're a slam poet. Like, I, I, look, I don't know. I don't know. I have enough time trying to get on with Page Race stage. I've never even been to a slam, so, like, I can't wade into that one as well. But you're just a poet. That's what that matters, <laughs> isn't it? So... Exactly. Um, well, it's, it's just gone 5-2, so... If you want to, I reckon you've got time to share one more. However, I ain't going to push you into it. You, we can do whatever you want. I'm just letting you know that that's what the time is. It's entirely up to you. We can just chat if you want. All I want um, is for you to be comfortable. Uh, I'll do one more. Um, I um, I want to do I want to do this one because um, so the first person that I came out as trans to was my partner. Um, who is has been so wonderful about it that that I love them so much, um, but um, <laughs> it was really weird in the context that only they knew that I was a boy for a bit. Anyway, right. this is a incredibly sexy mushy love poem um, that they'll be like, "Why did you read that afterwards?" <laughs> Doing it to make them make the face. <laughs> this is called Boy. Mm. Articulated as the vicar plays Captain Hook, the pantomime, the wink and the nod of it, how I know and he knows we all know. He tastes, swills his mouth with it. Boy. As in headmaster. As in officer. As in no, sir, wasn't I, sir, belly down and holding my breath. The sudden drag of his tongue across the clitoris, boy, said with guilty, gleeful shudder, burning backside, and the costume is coming off now. My cap in hand between my legs, my shorts around my ankles, boy, like love, like being seen. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad you shared that. I'm so glad you shared that. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to watch this again as soon as it's done. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, thank you. That's so precious. Is that the first time you've read that? Is that like a... Um, no, I I, <laughs> I read this one when, when uh, Bob is about to make them make the face. <laughs> Fair. Well, look, I'm so glad you shared that. That was just fantastic. What a wonderful set. Thank you. Um, so Witness, that's what we're promoting. Witness is available through Burning Eye. Have you got copies yourself? Have you got a big cartel yes, or have I we do. got a Burning Eye? Um, so yes. I have copies of that one and I have copies of this one and I'm moving house yes. soon. So please, please take them off my hands. <laughs> less stuff. Please, can I have less stuff? Um, uh, you can get them on my website, jonathankinsman.com. Um, and they, they will come signed because they'll come direct from me. Or you can get them from the publishers. So Burning Eye for Witness and Indigo Dreams for Ampersand, respectively. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your time tonight and for sharing your words. I really, really appreciate it. It's lovely to chat to you. Um, hopefully I will chat to you in real life at some point. You're in the Northwest, right? You, uh, I know yeah. you're from the Northwest. <laughs> yes, right, cool. I am from the northwest. I get about the north in general. You get about the north. Poetry. Well, I'm in Leeds, so hopefully I'll see you at a northern poetry event at some point soon. Oh, yes, that cool. would be lovely. Cool. Thank you for well, me. thank been you. So much fun. Nice one. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.
Uh, that was uh, Jonathan Kinsman. A fantastic set. Uh, phenomenal poems from Witness and some new poems as well. And uh, one of the slam poems. Um, so that's it. Uh, thank you very much to everybody for tuning in tonight. Everybody who's tuned in over the last 50 sessions. Um, there are loads of poets who I wish I'd um, programmed. Uh, I could I could pick 200, 300 poets that I'd love to program. So, um, yeah, I could keep doing these forever and ever, but I feel like 50 is a nice number to stop at. And also it's becoming a lot harder to be free every Tuesday. So thank you to everybody who's encouraged me and been supportive and watched it and shared it. Um, I feel very privileged to have done it. Other poets from Palestine, Pakistan, uh, Nigeria, uh, all over the world. It's been it's been incredible. So, um, yeah, thank you for supporting me and what we do. Uh, and take care, and I'll see you on the other side. Lots of love. Goodbye. Stay safe.